what it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden Hey guys, so today in this video I do have my iPhone 5 here, it is full with fingerprints. In this video, we're gonna downgrade this iPhone 5 from iOS 10.3.3. You can see here, I am on 10.3.3 at the moment. General, and about, you can see there, iOS 10.3.3, let that focus in. And we're gonna downgrade this thing from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 8.4.1. And you're gonna see a drastic performance improvements, okay? So, let's find out how to do it. Okay guys, so the first thing you do, you're gonna do is gonna jailbreak your iPhone. So, but to do that, you're gonna plug in your phone to the computer and download each three leaks. I would put the link in the description. And then once you download each three leaks, you of course, you need CD Impactor. Now, once CD Impactor is open up, you're to basically have to drag the IPA to the applications and then type in your Apple ID, do not worry. City Impactor will not steal your personal information for your Apple ID. Okay, once you install the H3 Leaks application, it's gonna open it up and just click Kickstart Jailbreak. Now, if it, has, if it asks for your profiles to be trusted, just go to Settings General and go to your profile and then trust it. Okay, now once you jailbreak the app, message jailbreak, once you jailbreak the phone here. I'm gonna open the phone up, make sure that it's actually jailbroken, okay? So I can see there I do have a tweak. Now it's gonna open up Cydia. Okay, once Cydia is loaded, we'll just go to Sources. We're gonna click on Edit and Add. And we're gonna add on the repo called repo.ftios.vn. VN. And click Add Source. Okay, so once the uh, repository is added, we're gonna click on Return to Cydia. Now we're gonna go to the repo, click on All Packages, and it's the only tweak that's available on this repo, alright? Now I'm gonna click Install. The focus is kinda hard here. I'm recording with the BlackBerry Z10, so the new device here, maybe it have problem with the focus, but I just wanna try it out, okay? So we're gonna, once the Tweak it to install. We're gonna once it was here, we're gonna click install, confirm it. Okay, so it's now it is installed. Okay, now it's gonna reboot device. Now also note as this downgrade, it also need to be you know you have to don't have a lot of data on your device. So that's why before this video, I had to delete like a lot of my app because I have basically a chunk of apps in this 64 gigabyte iPhone 5. This is 64 gigabyte by the way. So I just do a little test here. I do keep some app i think like three games and um and my whole music library my email accounts and my photos so we're gonna see after this downgrade method will it work because this is actually using the same method as the downgrade tool that i show you guys with the 4s to ios 8.4.1 from 9.3.5 but without changing you know the uh using iPhone, changing the build, the uh, system P list. This is just, this tweak, basically, the easier method, all right? So you just don't have to do just the edits, you just have basically have to install it, reboot your phone, and it will do the trick, okay? So it will, it kind of simplifies, simplifies the uh, method for us. But we're gonna see too, because in the last downward method, you, you will notice that the, my wallpaper, is missing you know it got blank and the setup crash at the middle all right so you have to reset it with the settings in order to make it work and also before and also um, after the setup crash you, you also notice that the app store will not work but we will see here that's this iOS 10.10 10 point, 10 point, yeah that does this iOS 10.3.3 downgrade to I from I from to it to 8.4.1 on the iPhone 5 this it will do that You can see there down there the person number immediately changed right there to cancel cancel to 6.1.3 let me just focus there one more time for you you can see there it basically faking the whole system p list for us by itself with that one kilobyte tweak all right there you go you can see that ios 8.4.1 is requested to download 
So as you can see that we don't have to install i file, we don't have to edit the build number and etc. That week basically help us how to do it. Okay. So now we're just gonna wait for this thing to download. Okay, now the update successfully downloaded. We're gonna install it in three, two, one. Okay, now we are su successfully downgraded from iOS 10.3.3 to 8.4.1. And I will be right back once the installation is complete. Okay, after 10-15 minutes later, we are now successfully from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 8.4.1. Now we're gonna set it up. You can see their update complete. Then we're gonna click continue. I'm gonna pick up the Wi-Fi network. Which should be picking up. Now we're gonna type in the password. Okay, once the Wi Fi is connected, it says it will act take a few minutes to activate. Oh, it is activation lock. Oh. Okay, so after the activation lock, you can see the setup crash again. So the wallpaper also turned to blank. So this is mean that you, you cannot install applications from the App Store now. You of course want to install the application on the app store so once you once the setup app is crashed right here you can go to settings now let's see hello look at that the old control center hello hello mr control center all right we're gonna go to general now yes my data is still there let me see go to my photos here it is still there and there is none of my app except tweak box for some reason <laughs> but yeah also my music i think is still there as well but we're not gonna go there. My videos, my videos. Yes, they're all still there. But of course, in this time, but this time we we'll, we cannot install applications from the App Store. Okay, you can see there beautiful, beautiful iOS 8. So, in order to fix that, we're gonna go to settings, general. We're gonna click reset, reset all contents and settings, erase iPhone and erase the iPhone. All right, and this by this method you now can install applications via the app store okay well now the phone has been reset via the settings now we just gonna quickly set it up Alright, now you guys successfully downgraded your iPhone 5 from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 8.4.1. Look at that. I uh, can see there. Let me focus that real quick. 8.4.1. Alright, so now the iPhone 5 is back on this great smooth firmware. Uh, looks like from this video, the BlackBerry Z10 camera is not really the best, but I'm just trying it out here. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it or not. You can see that the old notification banner. You guys like that? All right, quick little extra info. You just subway your iPhone file to iOS 8.4.1, and of course, you don't want automatic OT update to destroy it. All right. So right now, we're gonna show you guys how to block the OT update. So we're gonna go to Safari. We're gonna I'm gonna put a link down there in the description. So you just access using access the link using your phone. So this link here. So this is basically tvos profile so we'll click install and install it and click install one more time and this will block the ot update right click restart and you should be good to go thank you guys for watching this video and uh peace out